Well, we know, first of all, that uh, tobacco use is the leading cause of preventable death in Florida and every state in the country. But we also know that virtually all tobacco users, 90 percent or more, start as teenagers. So if we can get kids not to start, uh, we're going to make great progress in reducing smoking down the road. Now, part of that, too, is encouraging and helping adult smokers to quit, because not only do we get immediate uh, health and cost savings from that, but they're great role models for our children, and we're changing the social and cultural norms around smoking. And that's what Tobacco Free Florida is doing here in the state. And it's really exciting to see that happen. Uh, the program has achieved great success in its first five years, but having learned more and more about it through the Tobacco Advisory Committee, I see the best years of the program ahead if we continue to invest in these evidence-based interventions that the science and the CDC tell us will work here in Florida and all over the country. And Florida is having such great success that other states are beginning to look at it again and draw lessons from the kinds of interventions that are being put in place here. So great job to uh, here in the state, but also having an impact nationally.